fusion from the dark. Anyways, so this is this is a big deal for dark um, dark potential because it's where the, the name or the game gets its name. It's about dark matter manipulating potential energies. But that's too long, so you got to. It's dark potential. Of course, dark potential is catchier. Maybe. Or you'll get used to it to the point where it is catchier. Heck, Warhammer. What kind of name of a game is that? War Machine. It's the name of a comic book hero. Who cares? He's the black guy. The name becomes... Just who cares what the name is? It becomes synonymous with the game. So, dark potential. Uh, ba -bum -bum -bum. So, by the end of this century, most transportation has changed over to hybrid hover. Hybrid hover is basically... Are you making crap up? What is that? By the end of the century. Yeah, I'm making this up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fiction. Make it up. And it's hybrid hover, which sounds funny. But the reason it's hybrid is because you can't expect every side road to have these superconductors on them, right? So, okay. so, the, so a vehicle oh, has now? to hybrid hover. It has to be able to go between hover and not hover. Conventional. Like it drops its wheels down and it can drive somewhere oh, else. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like the major highways and the major streets and cities will all have these room temperature superconductors on the roads, which allow for the hover cars to fly over them. But once they hit a side street... That doesn't have the superconductors. They turn their wheels on and yeah. they drive off. It's, kind of like, it's, it's like an aquatic... Vehicle. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like the, yeah, it's the amphibious vehicles. Amphibious, that, that's, that's the one, yeah. yeah. I've been where, in one of those. Yeah, where they go it's on water scary. and then on land, yeah, exactly. Same idea. <laughs> so this, this delays the global warming crisis but does not solve it because there's still global warming, it's just that we're using less fossil fuels. But we still need to solve the problem, not just stop using, even if we stop using fossil fuels, at this point we kind of hit that runaway point where it's hot enough that it start, keeps heating up on its own. And that that's actually true that that can happen. At least it's a theory. But it's not, I'm not making it up is what I'm saying. Space travel. We have our first colonies established on the moon, Mars, and in the asteroid belts. These are all small, less than 100 people each. Um, a lot of them are by corporations. They're not done by governments because, like I said before, governments have, don't have the money to do it. Um, we have our first manned trip to the moons of Jupiter and Saturn by the end of the century. And they even discover some primitive life on these moons. When I say primitive, I mean like... These moons, Jupiter, Saturn? Yeah, like the moons of... Some of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Like what kind of life? Primitive, meaning like cellular level. Oh, okay. Like amoebas? Like there's, there's an ocean that's been able to get up to maybe uh, a small animal, but nothing huge. Really? Well, they have theories like that right now. Like, like a platypus? That's a funny animal. That's a big animal. I mean like small, like insect size or... Oh, okay. Like that kind of small. They have theories that there's, po there's a possibility like Europa, for example, is a moon going around Jupiter or Saturn. I can't remember. I think it's Jupiter. And it's ice. But they theorize because of the gravity between it creates a warmth it's on Jupiter. the inside. Yes, yeah, Jupiter, you're right. They, well, I say that because like Europa, like a rope, and Jupiter, like jump. So that's why it's... That's how you remember it? Yeah. That's kind of funny. I've never heard that before. Anyway, so they still they have theories now. They do discover primitive life on these. That's not a big deal for the storyline. It's more just kind of cool. And the first space elevator is created. Finally! In the late 21st century, making, finally, that, that opens up. Uh, it's a huge reduction in the cost of going out to space, so it opens up all sorts of economics there, which is going to be the frontier for the 22nd century, which we'll get into later on. So space elevator, finally. We're going to have lots of them. They're going to start spreading up all over the world. There are going to be space elevators in a lot of the major cities, or at least major, or, or the developed countries and everything. Artificial intelligence robotics. More advances are made allowing for smarter computers that specialize in almost any repetitive task. But conscious self-aware and common sense software has still not been developed by the end of the 21st century. Many scientists, because of this, believe it is impossible, given all of the other advances in computer technology. Impossible to do what? To create real AI. Real AI, okay. Like something that's self-aware, conscious, is able to have common sense. That's a tough thing to define. And you know, all these different things that make up our intelligence. Even data in Star Trek? He lack common sense. He didn't have common sense. Yeah, but he's, he's, most, most sci-fi does AI very wrong. Because data was actually very human-like. He's actually one of my favorite AI. Yes. Yeah. I, I liked him too. I like that kind of AI. But they haven't developed that yet. Politics and world events. Countries without quantum computers developed, uh, without the quantum computers, are annexed by others due to the ability to break any encryption, neutralizing defense systems and any weaponry that they might have. So we further have this strife of this amalgamations of these countries. So a lot of these smaller countries are disappearing. Maybe Canada, too. Well, it's small, but it's not... Small? 
I got nothing. <laughs> That's all right. We can join the states. Would it really be that bad? We already pretty much are. We Would it be that bad? We pretend to be different. You know what's funny? Like, I watch a movie, and it takes place in New York, right? And I think I'm... You're part of that culture. I, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's so part of the culture. It wouldn't be so bad. That's a whole other discussion, though. Canada's definitely going to get annexed. In Fallout, it gets annexed in the United States. I thought that was kind of funny. So maybe we'll do it, too. Or maybe Canada will take over the United States. Maybe <laughs> Canada will develop the first quantum computer and neutralize all United States systems and conquer them. You made me mess up my paint. That was so funny. And then we'll have the Canada United States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, United States of Canada. And then, and then you can truly call yourself Americans. Because right now, it's funny how they're called Americans, but they're from the United States of America. They're not from America. They're from the United States of America. Because it's really Canada of America. Mexico of America is, would be correct. That is correct. Yeah, so we're all Americans. Well, so we'll make it true by the end of the 21st century. Because really, in, in the powers... The United States is going to be declining in power, and China and India are going to be increasing. So maybe Canada will step in and help out their bigger brother. This isn't fiction. It's, this is real. It's real <laughs> and that is the end of the 21st century. So obviously I don't have a lot more politics and world events happening right there. So I'll have to work out those details. But I got the technology down pretty well. What do you think of that? Yeah, I'd, I'd say. You'd say? Honestly, yeah. I think you... You're like the secret inventor of like dark potential. You just put it there for those guys to find. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you're a demigod. The original dark potential storyline was actually going to have aliens giving us all the technology. Oh, no, no, like. No, another one. Kind of like the old ones. Though. Yeah, like they were talking like early, early version when it was still called Primal Horizon. And these aliens were going to see us self destructing and then they were going to like create a natural event or a natural disaster. And that was going to be the event that kind of created the post apocalyptic. But now that's not it at all. It's completely changed. Are they even going to be in it? No. No. We're making the technology just by our own advances. They got cut from the scene. Yep. Yeah. Just didn't, I just didn't like it. Didn't like the feel of it. Didn't feel right. This feels right. It feels more realistic because it's realistic. It's based on <laughs> it actually is realistic. Actual theory. Yeah, it's based yeah, based on actual theory. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, eh? Well, it's based on what scientists today actually believe could happen, and that's that's important. You, you want to have some foundation in what scientists believe, yeah. so that it's believable. So it's and like, you got you got to go beyond that though, and that's where dark matter comes in. I'm going way beyond what they believe there. It's based on widely accepted theories. There you go. There you go. Right. That's, that's a better way to put it. Yeah. Anyways, that's the end of this part. In the next part, we'll go over the early 22nd century. The 22nd century is an exciting era of technology as well as world events, although I don't have the world events all worked out yet. But it is going to be, it's going to be a, a, a really big part of the growth and development of the Dark Potential story. So stay tuned. This is Matthew and Dave from Mini Wargaming. Happy Wargaming.